Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today we are going to take a look on how to turn our Raspberry Pi into something really cool like a tablet. Make me feel like this. And we are back so yes we are going to turn or to see how to turn our Raspberry Pi 4 which is one of my favorite gadgets as you guys know I will leave some links right over here actually one for my favorite enclosure on the Raspberry Pi 4 which is a design by Tony Salvo the link will be right over there and I did remove the Raspberry Pi from uh, this particular case to put on one of my favorite enclosures but this is a different enclosure and let me start by saying before we go through the assembly which is really fun and if you are curious to see then just stick with me for a few minutes and you will be able to check out at least the kind of technology and how beautiful these things are and uh, great to have minds that create these things to uh, so that we can use regardless if this one is for you or for your neighbor or for your kids and before we start just to share with you my opinion if you're looking for a tablet just plain tablet for your social network and things like that then i wouldn't suggest the raspad 3 which by the name by the way it's the name of this device which i didn't mention i would suggest just a tablet on the other hand if you are looking for something to enrich your already Raspberry Pi 4 that you have with you or if you want to get a Raspberry Pi 4 and have something that will allow you to be free to take it anywhere in a nice enclosure use it as a tablet connect it to a display and so on and so forth then great one of the scenarios that I, I see and by the way I've got the manual here which I did really enjoy the manual is made for kids basically when i look at it it's so easy to read it's so uh, nicely made so simple that i do believe that the target or the one of the best targets is not only adults like myself which are curious and we are always trying to learn more and more and more but for kids that have the potential and the curiosity to learn more now that kind of kid that we just want to give a tablet once again that's the the perfect example that this is not the best present just a tablet for games and so on and so forth but if you want to push a little bit more of your kids or if you think that he has the potential to uh, be a more curious kid he wants to learn more than just those games he wants to learn how to install a game on Linux how to start program on Linux for example and try different operating systems and browse the web searching for answers to try out this and try out that then probably this will be a great but a great press which will give him probably many years along the way not only with this but probably a start uh, on his way to learn a lot now let's talk about really fun stuff now the first thing is and before we start let me just show you the port so uh, we have a ethernet port right over here three usb 3.0 we have a hdmi output so that we can connect to a display audio out and the power input jack now on the other side we have the micro sd card slot the power button volume and brightness and the battery indicator by the way the battery uh, on the site states uh, four to five hours and basically that's what we are getting depending on our usage as you saw in some images i was game streaming and things like that so that will deplete the battery faster but you if you are browsing the web or if you are using uh, libre office word excel and so on so things like that then it will take a lot more time and probably the five hours will just fine now we also have the possibility to connect the gpio cable right over here uh, just in case we want to program anything and we have the cable right over there and then we just need to connect to any device and one thing that probably you already uh, seen is that i can rotate the tablet and it will rotate obviously the screen because it includes 
a an accelerometer a um, which was the only thing that I had to use the manual for <laughs> I was not sure but uh, it does this incredible job of doing what a tablet does which is not easy so a great job right over here now in terms of assembly any kid can do this with a adult supervision of course but very very easy all we need to do is to uh, just take everything out of the package everything comes included with the exception of the raspberry pi 4 which we need to purchase uh, separate or already have one now we just need to connect the cables first i did connect the micro sd cable and then i did put in the raspberry pi 4 and then all the other cables we are talking about the usb type c cable for power the uh, network cable then the micro hdmi cables as well and then there are two heat dissipators uh, to help out to cool down the uh, raspberry pi including a fan as well that will extract the hot air and then the uh, sensor that will allow us to rotate the tablets itself in terms of specifications you can check it out on the link that will leave on the uh, video description but very quickly it is a tablet with 10.1 inch display lcd touchscreen with a resolution of 1280 by 800 with a battery that will last roughly four to five hours in terms of connectivity we have seen what it has already it's a nice tablet now it's not as thin as a normal tablet because it has to get the raspberry pi for inside some space to cool down and so on and so forth but in terms of the raspberry pi world not comparing with other tablets raspberry pi 4 world is just great in my opinion now operating system is something that i do believe that is the strong point of this tablet which is we are free to use everything that we use on the raspberry pi 4 and that is one of the main advantages if we want to give something to a kid like i was saying before instead of the android or ios which is what it is very simple to use social networks and so on and so forth but that is it no learning curve in terms of anything then this is where it comes in and we can install any operating system now my favorite operating system is the diet pi as you guys know i will leave a link right over here i can install any operating system that i want uh, raspbian uh, the diet pi version any linux distribution and android and so on and so forth so we can do a lot we can learn a lot with this of course the raspad 3 team has their own operating system which is what we see right over here and i'm sure that you already seen some images Images, but it's designed basically on top of the Raspberry Pi OS Raspbian but with a different design where we have a more simple more I would say intuitive usage especially for a kid so that it can start by the first time right over here and probably go to the web searching for a tutorial and then go to the terminal and see the tutorial and do its lines of code and so on and so forth which is just awesome i would love to have something like this when i was a kid we had other technologies <laughs> back then but that was it i did play around with it with some things but nothing new because this is powered by raspberry pi 4 but i was curious to see the behavior the screen and what i did was i did install a few things using the uh, linux command line and uh, i did play around with word except actually the LibreOffice versions <laughs> but worked just fine we can use the keyboards um, the virtual keyboard that it's right over here or we can use any other accessory i've got a keyboard right over here which i did use a gamepad and a mouse and i did try it out and work just fine with no issues at all so that's just a great experience on the raspberry pi 4. now i did play some games as well basically native games that we can run on linux and besides that i also installed kodi I, it's not my favorite device to play kodi although it's possible the raspberry pi 4 i did mention before on the channel and although we can do a lot i do prefer kodi on other devices such as android tv box which is dedicated for media streaming and so on and so forth the raspberry pi for me it's more a do-it-yourself kind of thing like we are doing right over here now i did try kodi besides that i also tried uh, a few games and i did try something which we love here which is game streaming yeah, steam link i did install it and then play games through the network which is just 
awesome and the experience was great now i did not play at 1080 60 frames per second which is what i usually do but i did play at the native resolution of the screen uh, 1280 by 800 with a great experience we are talking about the gas guzzlers game which is something that i love to play it's not a new game but i love to play it and it's just a awesome experience i did uh, test out the gamepad which was one of the things that i was curious and it worked just awesome and that is it guys so in conclusion i do believe that this is a great addition to the raspberry pi 4 either if you already own it or if you are wondering if you can get it and then enrich it with something such as this at least this is what i believe now the target audience i do believe that it's people like me and probably like you that want to do a lot more with the raspberry pi 4 and of course the potential is for that kind of kid that already already wants more than a simple tablet or that we believe that he has the potential for it and that is it hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one